Well, hello and welcome to our coverage of the final day of the International Champions Cup, an event which has seen clubs invited here from right around the globe. This may have only been a short tournament, but it is one that has certainly left its mark here for all the right reasons. The games have been very largely watchable, more than decent, played in a very good spirit, and everybody who has taken part deserves great credit for bringing the game to a new market. Turnout has been fantastic throughout the event, and it is certainly the case here today as well. Let us hope that it all ends just as well. a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world strength for strength from now on well i think all the signs are pointing in the right direction peter if the respective atmospheres are anything to go by we have to tip our hats to the organizers and the clubs that have made the commitment Here's hoping we'll all get to return next year. I've certainly enjoyed being part of such an enthusiastic tournament, and uh, we still have plenty to look forward to here. The action has already started. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? The Chilean Arturo Vidal. He has tremendous heart and desire about his game, but what I like best about him is his aggression. Every run, pass and tackle seems to mean a bit more to uh, two winners like him. Just getting the best out of him will count for so much. It's Muller. Checo. Messi. And the defence can get it clear. Pass, but not the most accurate. He's in and the shot. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front, and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. It's loose, who's getting there? Now it's Messi. Chance to break. He's got away. Messi. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Keeper goes long. Rafinha. Lorenzi comes out on top in a really physical duel. It's Muller. Aimed long and direct. Zonzi pushes it out wide. Long ball, but not especially accurate. Muller. Barcelona are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Now a 
It's Dzeko. Nzonzi. And it's Pastore. Pastore spreads it towards the left. Pique puts his foot on the gas. Messi. He's left his man. Left hits one. It's a goal. A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. So that's two now without reply. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Shut a goal! They are rampant! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. And we hit half time. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Barcelona, 3-0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. But we're already into the second period. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. It's Dzeko, it's wrestled off the ball, Messi. Pastore, and Zonzi, and it's Dzeko, just brushed off the ball there. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Going through, Messi, and Messi! Forward it goes. It'll be a throw in. Roma are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. And Zonzi. That's a throw. defense is, is wary about opposition pace so they're just not getting too tight yeah they know that if they they step up their their keeper could get a whole lot busier what a throw in the changes then in quick succession no. oh, sure are we in full tilt down the left He's left his man. And he heaves it forward. Roberto did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Zonzi. More than happy to take the muscular approach. He's off on a marauding run. Big chance. Must be.
Luis Suarez. Messi. Good offside that time. Strength too strong for his opponent. Insonzi Pastore loose. Now it's Muller. It's a loose ball played into the middle. Rafinha goes looking. Challenge, he just stood firm. Gets his foot in there. This is gone, that's a foul. Zonzi. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? No less. He's gone away. Still going. Where to next? Messi! He scored! It is no contest. It is a landslide. Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. Four in the game. He is the man. There's going to be another change here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Barcelona tear their opponents apart once again. Going for goal! And he just whacks it away. Muller. Now it's Dzeko. his whistle. Barcelona, they have won the International Champions Cup. A fine win in this most prestigious friendly tournament which has been going from strength to strength since it began several years ago. A genuine test against quality opposition from right around the world. And so to the ceremony. This has been a short but a wonderful tournament. It has served as a fine medium to bring football to new fans. The winners find ambassadors too in the course of the beautiful game.